Liverpool fans and others have been waiting very patiently for. After tickets first went on sale three years ago, three, tomorrow will be the opening night of You'll Never Walk Alone. It will and it stars two local actors from the city and our entertainment correspondent Caroline Whitmore has been to the Royal Court Theatre there to find out if they're ready to take to the stage. The play, You'll Never Walk Alone, Let's Talk About Six, is no stranger to the Royal Court Theatre in Liverpool, is it? This is the fourth time it's been here, isn't it? Yeah, we've been to Dublin, uh, Belfast with it, um, so it's, it's been... A and it's been around with this has been on sale for since 2019 so people can't wait to see it three years they've been waiting because of covid the greatest football club in the world he loved this place your granddad it's about the history of liverpool, liverpool football club so it starts in 1892 with john holding and it goes right through to today as it moves through centuries the music changes as well we've got a great band you do have the curly wigs as well don't we you, do yeah we do um yeah we yeah uh, there's a scouser sketch in there which has been there since day one day one <laughs> and it always goes down a storm but we kind of flip flip it on its head don't we we, we take ownership of it as opposed to harry enfield yeah, yeah exactly because mark was one of the original i was guys. one of the scouts so, yeah, yeah, yeah. Yeah. no fighting for two hours it's in the real view oh this is ridiculous how many years ago was that now? that was 1995 i think jake can i just talk about lock stock and two smoking barrels because that was nearly 25 years ago yeah, everybody does don't they it's uh, i get i get the the lines shouted at me in the streets right we call each other kenny okay gary all right kenny People love that movie for some reason. It was like so long ago now, yeah. Such a pleasure to be in a, such a successful film. And he hasn't altered, has he? No, <laughs> he really hasn't. Now, talk to us as well, because I love the Royal Court Theatre. It's in the centre of Liverpool, isn't it? But the crowd are really part of the of the show as well, aren't they? Yeah, the crowd are like the 12th man, as we were saying. Totally, yeah. It's a very unique show. I mean, the theatre the theater audience in the Royal Court is not unlike any other theatre audience, I think, because the setup is like, it's like a Parisian nightclub in some... In the, in the stalls and they really do get involved with, with whatever shows on here but this even more so and everyone who's come to the show is, is going to be a Liverpool fan I imagine so they really will get involved yeah. with the songs and stuff We've seen Liverpool return to the glory days haven't we they, they won the FA Cup they won the League Cup have you had to update the script? Absolutely because we were in lockdown so we've, we've won quite a bit of silverware in that time so we've added lots of new stuff uh, and as i say it's really emotional when you see it all on screen uh, along with the music we, we sing and it uh, we in rehearsals we, we all yeah, went, we, didn't we? We all went yeah. so bring a tissue <laughs> yeah please tell me you're both liverpool fans doing doing this job you're not a blue are you well i'm a massive red i've uh, been since day I, one i'm not really that mad on football but uh yeah i was brought up as a blue but I've, i i um, but I do play all the Evertonies in the, in the play. But yeah, yeah, yeah. He does, yeah. Someone's got to represent, yeah. haven't he? He, he plays all the baddies, apart yeah, from Bob Paisley. Yeah, yeah, yeah. He Paisley. had a twinkle in his eye, yeah, and he's yeah, like, yeah, yeah. I'm a blue. Oh, I get it all the time in this show. You're he like, does a mean know. Peter Beardsley impression in the oh, show as well. Yeah, let's hope he's Let's hear it now. No, thank you. <laughs> no, no, don't spoil <laughs> no, it. Thank no, you. Don't, no, don't spoil you. it. Listen, good luck. After three years, opening night is tomorrow, so best of luck. Thanks very much. Yeah, I'm sure that's going to be worth.